Hello there, everyone. I'm Larry. I hate you. It's been a long time since I've said that. Um, we're going to try this again. We're going to go right back into it. And we're going to play Game Dev Tycoon here. So let's get started. Hopefully this recording goes properly and no problems. Okay. Company name. Let's go. Uh, Larry... Uh, Corp. Sounds good. And of course, as I said, Larry, I hate who. Yeah, Larry, I hate you. I am a guy. Yep, guy. Um, not sure how much these options matter. Go with that. Green shirt. Green shirt. Let's go green shirt. Okay. Alright, random achievement to start up. Okay, so we... I have no idea what we're doing, and I think in my testing I may have turned off like the tutorial and stuff. So let's see... Settings... Uh, change anything... Um, okay, well, let's... Go. Okay, so we're Game Dev Tycoon. I hope I, I have no idea what's going on. I need to develop a new game. Sure. Let's go with that. Okay. Before I begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. Okay. Well, I'm doing this blind, obviously, since I didn't mention it before. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. But we will learn together. Uh, select with graphic technology. Okay. Okay. Game one. Pick a topic. Virtual pet military racing and aliens. Let's go aliens. I like aliens. Genre. Um. Hmm. Let's go simulation. Actually. Platform. Hmm. The G64, which I assume is a console type thing. Yes. I'm gonna go with the PC because the PC, the dev cost is much cheaper to do on the PC, and the market share really isn't that much different. I'm assuming that's what the issue is here. So let's go here. We'll go alien simulation, um, Star City. Sure. Let's go. Um, text based. Mm. No, let's go. We got 2D graphics at least. I mean, we can't do 3D yet for obviously reasons. I don't know what year it is, when this game is starting. Obviously, if I get PC and that G64 or whatever. Uh, okay. So, game development runs th three stages. Begin of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your great game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game, and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of different areas, please refer to the help menu. Yeah, I think we need that. Okay, so development stage one. Um well, it's a simulation, so I'm not going to put story that high to begin. I mean, we want a little bit of story. And I think other than that, I want the gameplay and the engine to be about the same. So let's go with that. Go ahead and apparently we make the game by spewing out bubbles from our brain. Okay. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you generate game points. That must be the bubbles, which you can see bubbling up. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Okay. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. I really hope my beer's not rubbing against that microphone. Okay, that's a little better. 
All right. Hopefully that wasn't the whole time here. But we'll see. The first time back, three years. Cut me some slack. Okay. Okay, the little bubbles are going up. Getting lots of research. Artificial intelligence, dialogues, and level design. Let's just leave it even, I think. That's just... Okay, still get lots of research. We need some technology. We got a couple bugs. That's not good, but... During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features will make the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you choose the game. Boy, I can't even read. The graphic type you selected when you defined the game. Okay. This is just a reminder of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid game. Okay. Sound, basic sound. Yep, that's what we want. We got 2D graphics. Um, I think world design is probably a little bit more important than. In fact, I'm not. Even, I'm not even sure sound is in, as important. But we're gonna world design a little bit more. That's the time to go like that. Sure. Let's go with that. Got big sound. We lots of bugs coming up. That's not good. Develop your first game is now complete. You can press finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. So we got five bugs going on in the game. We don't want to publish yet. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and can't afford to wait. Or if you're releasing an alpha and pre-board and sucking money out of people. Like, it seems to be the common issue these days. Okay, so, we want to get rid of bugs. Three, come on. Two, one, zero bucks. Let's finish. All right. The development of your game has now finished. By developing games, you can gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Bloop, 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 bloop. Hmm. This all pops up here. About a hundred. About a hundred each. About one, nothing too crazy. I don't know what the seven and six are. Right, Star City. Let's release the game. Alright. Must be design and technology is what those are. Whatever that means. Game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. Uh huh. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Okay, well, let's start it. Okay, the first reviews for our newly released game, Star City, came in. Reviews for Star City. What do we get? Four. Uninspiring. Two. <laughs> Bad. Well, we did just start. Boring. Oh boy. Utterly uninspiring. Wow, well, that's horrible. But it's my first game. Fours and two. I didn't get any ones, so I guess that's a good thing. Okay, after you publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this mention and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Generate game report. Okay. Units sold unsure. Cost 31. Select. Larry Corp, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game, Star City. The game has made moderate response from reviewers, of course. We're curious what Larry Corp will deliver in the future. Larry Corp. Okay, look at all them units selling. Very nice. Star City sold 801 units in the first week on the market. Well, for such a horrible reviewed game, that's... Now your game is on sale, you will receive the income from the game every week. 
can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph on the top right of the screen. I assume that's what this is. Okay, so. Our post-release analysis of Star City is complete, and we got the following results. Aliens and simulation is a terrible combination? What, what is that? I, I like that idea. I guess this is simulating what is typical for game development. Uh, I like the new stuff. I've always liked something different. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. I guess for simulations and gameplay. Okay, game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. Okay. Open the research menu and close this message. Click it. Right, right. Research. Research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games, of course. To try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. Yeah. So greatly improve your games. Hint. Try to develop games with a different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Well, apparently it was different and it was very bad. So, okay. Okay, if I'm having 8k in monthly costs, I'm only making 5.5k in Star City sales. So obviously we need to make a new game, but I've got 22 research points up there hidden behind this window that I cannot move. So I guess we want a new topic. Um, hmm. Prison, superheroes, sports, and hunting. Um, let's go superheroes. Why not? Start the research. Blup, blup, blup. Type on the little crummy computer. Probably should repair my wall. Wow. Okay, you successfully researched a new topic. Superheroes. Right. Okay, so I want a new game. I'm gonna need a new game. And cars are popping up. I wish I could turn that off. I haven't figured out how to turn that off yet, but we'll see. Okay, game two. Sorry, right, let's go with our new superheroes thing. And I'm thinking action. Action superheroes yeah, platform. Um I really I don't see the point. I mean, the market share is a little higher on this G64 thing, but it's just so much more expensive. And unless it's a, I mean, it doesn't seem that much to me. So I'm gonna stick to PC. Going superhero action game, super me. There we go. Um, hmm. An action game. I don't think text space is gonna cut it. So we're gonna stick with the graphics and get it going. Okay, and money is really kind of getting low. Okay, superheroes action. Um, gameplay, I'm going to try to even this up a little. Uh, I think we're just going to keep going like this. Maybe put the gameplay up a little bit. Uh, and it up a little bit more. Let's just go with that. Okay, let me get that menu up over there. Okay, have a little bubbles going. Okay, um... I don't think dialogues is as important as something like level design. And I'll kind of leave artificial intelligence where it is. Sure, action game. Don't need super good dialogue if the gameplay is there. So, at least that's the hope. Okay, basic sounds. Um, I think in this, the world design doesn't need to be as much as like graphics. In a big action game, you want the graphics to look really impressive and whole point and hmm. let's go with that Get a couple bucks okay star city is now off the market it sold 2,990 units generating 20k in sales it's pretty good for a 5k game wasn't it uh, I might have been 15k it was really kind of like 5k hmm. okay we got 3k in, in cash we need to get going get those bugs come on 
New mar recent market studies suggest that the Govador G64 is steadily outsetting competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer, prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Okay. Experts say this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Okay. Okay, one more. Let's finish it. Alright. Get that going. New records. Engine. Oh, yeah. Get the. This is all experience coming in here. This isn't really about the game. It's just. Speed that up a little bit. Okay. Really some. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic genre combination. Okay. Your bank account is in the red. Yes. Thankfully, your bank is unable to withdraw your account up to 50k. But be careful. If your account balance is below 50k, you will go bankrupt. Wonderful. The first reviews for our newly released game, Super Me, came in. Let's see. Come on. Got to do better than four. Not seven. Enjoyable. That's good. That's very good. Six shows potential. This is going well. Nice experience. Alright. All games likes it, apparently. I assume that's like a magazine. Alright. Okay, so let's sell those units and get some money in. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. We even have 23 fans. Nice. I have no idea what fans do. Let's give me generate the game report. Super me. Let's go. Get 15 more fans. Get some research going. Okay, our post release analysis of Super Me is complete, and we got the following results Superheroes and Action is a great combination. <laughs> Graphics seem to be very important. See, I, I knew exactly what I was doing with that. Okay, and we've got some money now. Okay, Super Me have achieved a complete sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Larry Corp. Wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and. Develop us a new game well, that's just raking in the cash. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento okay, is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Hmm, we need to get in on that, I think. Ninvento is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. Okay, so this is Nintendo and Donkey Kong coming on the scenes. So. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles would take off, but we are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Now, how much is it going to cost me to develop a game on the Ninvento? Oh, um, okay. So, I think I go racing. No, 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 no. We had some pretty good success with superheroes. So, we get the fans going. Let's change from action adventure yes and we're going to oh uh, we can't choose it on the ninvento or whatever yet um let's try putting it on the g64 thing it's really gonna take half our money but let's okay so the other one was super me so let's go super you right graphics are important it's an adventure game we want to get a little bit of story going for this too with an adventure game, you do want story. Um, let's just put it even and see what we go. Pull up them little bubbles. Okay. Let's see for an adventure. Um, let's put dialogues up quite a bit, a bit more. Let's go with that. Two. For me, sales is still going on. Very, very nice. I mean, it's kind of loading off. But okay, um, I want to put up world design. I think I'm going to go with text. That gives me. The, uh, no, I went with graphics. Because that was the option before. So I think we're going to go with that. We'll see how it goes. 
Checking. I got a couple bugs going. Super Me is now off the market. It sold 13,000 units, generating 92k in sales. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, get them bugs out of the way. One more bug. There we go. Let's go. Super U is ready. New combo. Should level up something here. Come on. Maybe not. Level. Nah, we're getting close though. Next game will probably level us up. So let's see what we do. First reviews for Super U came in. Let's see here. Ooh, this is not boating well. <laughs> Pretty bad. Okay, we may have to focus on action games. <laughs> Just go Super Me 2 or something. Oh, that was pretty bad. Okay. Okay, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a home gaming console called the TES. Uh huh. Early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Okay, let's go ahead and generate our game report. Super U. Getting negative fans from that. Oof. Contract work. Hi there. Just finished Super U, and I think you have potential. Okay. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you ever short in cash, just let me know and I'll have some work for you. Jason. Okay, contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay, game report is in. Superheroes and adventures, a terrible combination. Okay, I don't... Uh, I, I, you get the combinations have to fit. I don't understand that. I mean, because you can make a game for any sort of genre and then have, the, like, the topic be something totally different. You, know, you get original and different. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I guess we're trying, we're, we're pigeonholed into the mainstream gaming, I guess. I mean, indie games, to me, seems like this isn't as... Um, I don't know, is restricting. I mean, superheroes, a superhero adventure seems like it would fit fine to me, but I guess in the typical mainstream gaming world, this is type of thing. Anyway, engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Okay. Platform genre match. Adventure on the G64 is great. Okay. Interesting. So if we want to make a G64 game, an adventure is good. So let's let's go ahead. Well, let's contract. What's contract? Contract is useful tool for extra cash when your balance is low and can be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design technology points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you will accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Three weeks. Ooh, that's a lot of technology. Ooh, eight and eight. Help playtest a game. I think that sounds good. Let's go. Playtest. Get them bubbles going. Thank you. To Larry, I hate you. Patrick and Daniel Klug, Greenheart Games. Hi, Larry, I hate you. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon. I'd like to thank you very much for support, purchasing the game and supporting us. Okay, you're welcome. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game, and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup, and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much, and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. Okay, I wonder if this is where the whole set in for the... They, I know they released this game free on the internet to like, piracy websites and versions and stuff. And they put some code in that would make all your games fail or something. This is a whole controversy that I don't totally believe in. But I can understand where they're coming from because they want to make the game. They want to make money. That's their job. So, anyway, let's see. Come on. Get those bubbles going. Three, two, one, done. 
Thank you for taking care of this for us. We will transfer 18k to your account. Alright, let's... Okay, Jason here. I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually, I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Alright, so, well, we want a new game. So, we wanted to go... Okay, so we want adventure. So, superheroes in adventure apparently is not good. Um, I think even military or aliens. Let's try military. And then we'll go adventure again, and we want to put the... Adventure is 3+. Plus. Genre match. Uh, we know adventure is good. So let's go there. Okay. So, we'll, I'm thinking a military text game thing. Maybe. I don't know what, how we're going to do this. Let's go, um... Hmm. Oh, game. Military. Soldier time. You want time. There we go. <laughs> Let's go with that. And we go text based it. Right. And starting it up by generating game report. What? I learned what works well and what doesn't work so well. Yeah, that's what we just did with the adventure. Right. Okay. Hints range from plus to minus and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. When hints have a question mark at the end, means that you have insights from a game in the same genre. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Ah, yawning already. Wonderful start. Same genre, but that you have not yet sure whether this holds true for this particular genre type combination. Okay. Uh, looking at my clock over there, we seem we've been we've been going for a good 20, 25, maybe even 30 minutes. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. Right here, we'll start it up next game, or next episode. Until then, I'm Larry, I hate you, thanks for watching.